What are the facts about real estate in the last 30 days? Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We're grateful that we've been able to provide for you free access to over 403 Inside Track episodes on insider tips, making house home, how to just thrive in the space that you're living in, and they're available for you anywhere, anytime. We used to say at the office or at home or on the go. And now really they're available for you at home because that's (laughs) about where you're hanging out. (laughs) That's the gig. So we've been under this COVID-19 structure or shifting of our way of being for about 30 days. So now we've got some insights as to what has happened in the real estate industry in the 30 days. There is a disclaimer right here because what you're going to learn is that anything I tell you right now or even Ken tells you right now may be different in 24 hours from now or maybe different in 72 hours from now. Some of the basics, the, the history is not going to change. I, the 30 days past history, that'll be solid. That'll be sound information. And we are going to share some stats and recognize that it's not necessarily reflective of what the next 30 days will bring. That's right. And as everybody knows, it's day to day. Um, moment by moment. Moment really. by moment. Our prime minister comes out every morning gives us a different piece of news, a different piece of action that the government is taking. All of these pieces of action are designed to bring stability to our economy, our people, to to protect them. And I've been doing a little bit of research into... How about a lot of research? You're a research junkie. No, come on. Oh, Ken. Every time I turn around, I go, what you doing, hon? And then I look over your shoulder at the computer. I look at your screen on your iPhone or I look at the iPad and I go. And what's on there, "Uh honey? Something to do with COVID-19 and often in relation to real estate. Yes. And lately I've been researching the Great Depression. I know. That's kind of like... (laughs) Not that I want anybody to go into a depression. And I wanted to look at some of the things that the government did then Mm -hmm. to bring it out of a housing issue. Because there was a time in the US back in the 1929, 1930s, where a thousand people a day were defaulting on their mortgages. That wild? Yeah. thousand people a day in the U.S. alone. So was it 10% of that in Canada? And what was the population in the U.S. in 1930? Mm. A lot less than what it is now. So you can just imagine that would, I don't know what that would be, maybe three, 4,000 a a day were defaulting on their mortgage. And so the The equivalent of. Yeah. So the government, excuse me, needed to put in place things like government-backed mortgages which we still have in Canada and we have in the U.S. So if some, And they came out of that time. Out of that time. Right. So things will not go back to what they were. No, it's like income tax was a temporary war measure. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How did that work for us? <laughs> things never go back to where they were. Not 100%. They may rebound some, but they never they go back to exactly. They will rebound some. We are going to get to go into houses again. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because there's nothing, even with the amazing virtual tours we're doing, it's still not the same mm-hmm. as touching it. And you're not allowed to touch it right now. Yeah. So what I wanted to do was say, what has COVID-19 done to the real estate market in, in Ottawa area in the last 30 days? And then later in the show, we're going to project into the future. On another episode. Yeah, yeah. And that's where all the bets will be off. On whether we're accurate or not. (laughs) Yeah. Ken's pretty good about researching history and not, and pretty good about predictor of what is going to be ahead. And yet we've not been here before. And yet I think looking at the Great Depression and some of the things, although the stimulus is different, it has some of the similar impact. Yeah. And I'm hoping that the length of time isn't similar because the Great Depression lasted almost 10 years before we came out of it. 
I'm, I'm praying that this won't be that kind of length of right. time. So, so let's it's look not at the last business as normal, and yet it is still business. Still so business I think that's happened. the first point that we really want to reiterate mm -hmm. again and again and again. Real estate is an essential service. It has not shut down, except if it's not an essential time for you to make a move, then don't. Then don't. Yeah. Then don't. So here's the, the nuts and bolts. I wrote down some facts. Yep. Um, in the last 30 days, there were 1,760 sales compared to 1,831 the year before. We're only talking down, what, less than 100. Right. 5%. Like 70. Like, like 70 sales. Yeah, 5%, basically. Which is virtually none. Now, some of that is because it was in the process. The listings yes. were already there. Yes. Um, average sale price, because we had a very concerned um, client send us uh, questions about whether they should sell their house. Mm. Is the value of it going to fall? Should they go rent something and put their equity into something else? And I said, well, what else would you want to put it in? Because the stock market is falling too. So And faster. Maybe. Well, because we don't think real estate yeah. hasn't fallen yet. No, as a matter of fact, uh, the average list price in the last 30 days, basically March, was $464,000. And the sale price was four seventy nine. dollars So we're still seeing sale prices above asking prices in general and 28 days on market on average. Right. And I just want to put a little bit of framework around that. That is the Ottawa Real Estate Board. That's not necessarily downtown Ottawa. That's mm -hmm. not necessarily just a certain price range of property. That's everything from an $89,000 property that I have out in Bishop Mills that would be part of these stats to a million dollar condominium I have downtown. Yep. So it is a full broad spectrum to the Osgood Rural Bungalow at 500000 mm -hmm. So they're all mixed into this conversation. So again, like, like every other time when we're talking with you, we're saying, if you really want to know what's happening where you are, what's the snapshot of your community, your neighborhood, the best thing to do is reach mm -hmm. out to us and we will give you your own custom and it's free to you market snapshot that lets you stay in the know as things are shifting. And now is probably a better time than ever. To get that information. Yeah, to yeah. be in the know. Yeah, because you have more time you, to look at it. Well, you have more time <laughs> you to look at it. You might. You might, you, and might, you might be in one of the industries that's taxed heavily right now, right. whether you be stocking shelves, working in a grocery store, you're in yeah. frontline responder, mm -hmm. Or my heart goes out to the people in the hospitals, the nurses, mm -hmm. doctors who are putting in way over time, trying to keep us all healthy and safe. Yeah. And we're so grateful for everybody that's serving mm -hmm. us and serving our families and friends because it's, it's right. important. So in February, there were 1,505 sales. So sales actually went up, which is normal. February would be low. <clears throat> March would be more. But what's really interesting is what's happening with the inventory. Mm. <clears throat> the inventory continues to decline. There were 1,284 new listings in March, which is a lot considering we're kind of in a half lockdown. But normally that would be <clears throat> 2,150 last year in March. So that is almost half as much. Right. Right? And 2,800 properties for sale currently – Last year, there were 3,300. So everything's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Which simply means those that really do require to make a move are still going to be making a move. And if you don't, stay put. If you're going to have nowhere to live and you need a home, it's still there's lots of inventory. There is well, still lots relative some. to the number of people that are going to be looking because there's no just onto the spring market. That's true. Right? So thanks for growing alongside the Decker team. We are grateful that we get to continue to navigate even this season with you. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.